And hello again and welcome to this third place match. Our elite competition coming to a close here at the 2018 Algarve 7s. This is our broadcast from the main stadium at the sporting complex here at Villarreal Saint Antonio. Right now, we see the Portuguese international Pedro Leal with the ball in hand, ready to kick off for the Samurais playing in light blue and green uh, and attacking from right to left against the New Zealand Metro squad. These are two invitation squads. Obviously, the New Zealand squad playing in all black with the white trim. And this is the third and fourth place match. Two excellent teams battling it out in what has been an excellent day of Rugby Sevens. This is our second to last match. And we have two star studded teams. As you can see here, the Portuguese fans will recognize number 13 there, Azeri Tstivs. Another Portuguese international and a well-known man in the international scene. The sevens here. Also, obviously, the number four, their team captain here. Samurai, one of our main sponsors and the sponsor and creator of this team. A very renowned invitation-only team. International 17, the Samurais. They've come to Portugal and so far they've done very well. Losing only in the semis against the Susies. So, the same for the New Zealand Metros, who now have a go at the first try. Here we go. Niels Engelmeer, the player from the Portuguese club Technico. Opening the score, 5 0. Another player the Portuguese fans will recognize, at least the technical supporters, is both him and Kane Hansi. The M New Zealand number nine have ITM experience and are here representing the Metro side. With the conversion, we have 7 0. And as I said before, these are star studded teams who blaze their way through the elite division. Now we're there to catching that ball and giving it. Now Pedro Leal. Trying to move the ball to the backs. Uh, the Samurai play stops here. Open ball again. Trying to switch, but Pedro was going to hit a dead end there. Excellent body work, and we have a couple of meters going now. Here we see him. Will we get a try? Hand off, and there it is. Malcolm Case. The players from Stellenbosch, South Africa. And this will be a very, very hard conversion. Just to give you an idea of about the composition of this samurai team, we have two Portuguese players, two players from the Kenyan seventh side, one from Nigeria, the other from Uganda, three players who are playing in South Africa. One under 18 Irish player, and one player from Hong Kong, and one from Worcester, and one from Gloucester. So, if you were to create a Nations of Rugby seven squad, I wouldn't say it would look like this one, but this one has the makings of it. Here we have the restart. And uh, now the knocked on ball, an advantage being played for the Metro team. 
Again goes Engelbier, this time into touch. And we'll have a line out. Ref stops play. And I think we'll have a line out here for the Samurai team. So. Here we go again on the attack are the New Zealanders. And there we have it. A second try. A little bit limping there, the number five for the New Zealand Metro. It's Richard Kirkland, one of the four American players. Their main figure, Todd Cleaver, is injured, unfortunately, so not playing. But clearly, Richard Kirkland is, and this was a very, very nice try. Also, a dip difficult conversion let's see and it goes through so 14 to 5 the restart for the New Zealand Metro team they get the ball, but then uh, there it was there for the recovery. Uh, backhand pass. And another rock. Ball comes out. And this is a turnover. The Metros have the ball. And did the kick behind the back of the Samurai players. They tried to do some magic there, but ball goes out and we'll have a line out. The Samurais coached by Terry Sands are on the attack again. And here they go. Powerful run here. The New Zealand Metro, that's a good tackle there, stopping the attack. Again, <coughs> Samurais at the horn will have the last possession. Now we see Eric Stivs trying to wrestle through a forest of black jerseys. And knock on, it appears so. And that's the end of our first half. At the halftime, New Zealand Metro's 14, Samurai's 5, we'll be right back for the second half.
And we're back for the second half of this third place match here at the elite competition of the Algarve Sevens 2018. New Zealand Metro team restarting, attacking from right to left in black and white jerseys. They are winning 14 to 5 against the Samurais playing in green, white and blue. So far this has been an exciting match with both teams showing why they've run through the competition here only losing in the semis. A word should be said here for the Navigators team that defeat they defeated the New Zealand Metro in the first day but the second, the second day didn't go well for the Portuguese boys so they ended up in eighth place. Right now the Samurais have the ball. We see that it's Tivs with it, releasing it, and now they're on the attack. Well defended there. They tried to take it out. And a good attack there. Circling the boys, and they, the ball still in samurai possession. They're keeping it alive now. A breakaway. Will we see a second try for the samurais? Yes, we will. Number 11, Fraser. I'm sorry, Philip Wakara. I was going for the 11 for the New Zealand Metro there. So it's the Samurai number 11, Philip Wokra. And Pedro Leal with the easy conversion. So 14-12. And Terry Sands, the samurai coach, bringing him some fresh legs. <laughs> New Zealand Metro team now with a knock on. Left comes back with, with the play and we'll have a scrum there inside the New Zealand 22. Samurai still have the ball. After this scrum, now trying to move it along the field and see if they can find an open gap. Instead, they find a very determined Metro team that wins the ball back to them. And there they go. Opening the ball and trying to look for opening it's a turnover and in come the samurais that's an excellent move and there's the try With the easy conversion here the samurais should overtake the metros on the score so We'll have, there we see it, 
Metro squad now with possession and trying to make something out of it but they'll have to defend even further back and it seems to be we'll have a five meter scrum excellent pressure from the samurai squad who's been in, con in control in full control in this second half Both teams try to make this stable, but Samurais get a penalty and a try. So, try number four for the Samurais. A very, very difficult conversion. And I needn't remind you that up next we'll have our grand final, the cup final between Portugal and Susie's. Conversion going short, so right now 24 to 14 to non converted try separating both squads. And the restart with the restart, the ball goes to the Metros. Charging now forward, <coughs> knock on, and the Metros will still have last possession. Well, if they can take the ball from this scrum. Ball in hand is the number nine, Kane Hansi. Another player with ITM experience, and currently playing in Portugal for the Lisbon-based technical club ball is out and the metros will have what will most likely be the last possession no offload here so try to roll it out one last hurrah ball still alive defending very well the samurai players Preventing as they can the offload here. And again, the ball goes. Trying to look for some support here. Excellent tackle there. And now with the kick, which will. Oh, still contested. Excellent work by Hansi there, but then the Samurai players get the ball and as the ref doesn't sig signal anything, they'll move for the try. <laughs> as you can see, all fun and games at the end as the Metro's number nine tackled the wrong player there. <laughs> and we'll have a conversion, but our final score is almost set. With a conversion, we'll have it. There it is. Thirty-one to fourteen. Congratulations to both teams. And up next, we'll have the cup final. We'll have a short recess and we'll be right back. Come back with us as well for the match between Portugal and Susie's. <laughs> 